In this example, we want to find the Laplace transform of the function f of t equals to 12. Okay, so the the definition of a Laplace transform is what you see here. Okay, it's the integral, the improper integral going from zero to infinity of the function that you're transforming times uh, that exponential function. So Laplace transforms are used uh, most commonly in signal processing. So if you're into electrical, if you're going to electrical engineering, this is um, a concept that you're going to be used that you're going to be applying a lot of, and they're also used in solving uh, differential equations. Okay, so if you if you plan on taking differential equations, this is uh, this is a technique that you will definitely see. Okay, so let's proceed on to the uh, to solve this. So okay, so applying the definition of the Laplace transform, we are going to have. the integral, okay, from zero to infinity of, so our function, the function is 12, okay, so we want to take the Laplace transform of that, so it's going to be uh, 12 times e to the minus st dt, okay, so again, this is an improper integral because the upper bound is going to infinity, so we need to uh, use the limit to uh, to calculate this. So we're going to have the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 0 to b times 12e to the minus st dt. Okay, so to solve this integral, um, this is a, a simple integral from calc 1. Um, so what we need to do, okay, is just use, we can use the uh, substitution rule. So we're going to let u be equal to the argument of e, which is minus st. So du, okay, so taking the derivative u with respect to t will give us minus s dt. So therefore, we're going to get minus 1 over s du equals to dt. So dt is going to get replaced by minus 1 over s du. Okay, so now the limit Okay, so we have the limit as b approaches infinity. Okay, so we have the integral of 12 times e to the u. Remember that dt is minus 1 over s du. Okay, <clears throat> so we have now the limit as b approaches infinity. Uh, this integral is just going to be um, minus 1 over s times 12, so we're going to get 12 minus 12 over s times e to the u. And u, okay, so u was minus st. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that in there. And just remember that s s here is a uh, constant. Okay, that's okay. And we're going from and we're going from zero to b. Okay, so now we take the limit of this. Apply our bounds, then take the limit. So you have minus 12 over s e to the minus, uh, so we're going to, so we integrate, integrate with respect to t, so we're going to substitute the bounds into t. So it's going to be minus 12 over s e to the power of minus b s, and then substitute 0 to there, um, and then we get, so e to the 0 is just 1. So I'll go ahead and write that out. So it's going to be plus 12 over s e to the 0. And it's positive here because we have a negative. So minus minus gives us a positive. So this is going to give us OK, 
Okay, so minus 12 over s, e to the minus bs, plus, again, e to the 0 is just 1, so you get 12 over s here. So as b goes to infinity, okay, all right, so, so b is approaching infinity, so we have a negative value here, okay? And, and for s, okay, because we're working with uh, we're working with this set of all numbers. Okay, so we have to be a little careful here. Okay, so if S is, if S, so S can't be uh, zero. So if S is strictly less than zero, okay, that means, okay, S will be negative. And so we get a negative here and a negative in front of the B. So this is going to give us a positive value. So that means this is going to, for, for when S is less than zero, this is going to diverge. Okay. The other case is if S is less than, oh, not less than zero, it's greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, okay, that means we're going to have a, a negative argument here for e and as b approaches infinity this right this term okay this term will go to zero okay all right so that means we're left with uh, we're going to be left with just 12 over s okay so that's 12 over s with a domain of s strictly bigger than zero Okay, so that's this is our solution. Okay, and that is the uh, that is the Laplace transform of twelve. Okay.